When NASA describes something as a close call, well, it's not exactly what you want to hear. But that's how the space agency describes this incident last July. It's hard to tell, but it feels like a lot of water. Oh, I see. Yeah. Italian astronaut Luca Parmitano was on a spacewalk when suddenly water started to fill his helmet. I feel a lot of water on the back of my head. NASA canceled the walk and Parmitano scrambled back to the International Space Station. Imagine walking around with your eyes closed in a fishbowl. Well, today NASA revealed what actually happened, and who better to explain what happened than former astronaut Chris Hatfield, a contributor to CBC News now. First of all, Luca was your backup. He was indeed, yeah. Good guy? Oh, very good guy, very capable, extremely talented, hardworking, yeah. So how serious was this? Extremely serious. We just about killed Luca. Water behaves so strangely without gravity, and... and uh, he was wet in the back of his head, but then it's almost like, like a living jello or something that crawled across his head because it behaves on the surface tension. Covered his ears so he couldn't hear, came across, covered his eyes so he could barely see. Started getting in his nose, so he shook his head, and, and it, was, it, it was almost ready to drown by the time they got the problem solved. It was very dangerous. Well, where would it have come from? Uh, in a spacesuit, water comes from three places, uh, either the drink bag, that you drink out of, or uh, the cooling system, or the, the blood, sweat, and tears of the astronaut themselves. In this case, it was the cooling system was leaking. There's a, a clogged filter they found, and that's in NASA's report. And so it was just uh, slowly, insidiously pouring in the back. Never seen it before, and uh, NASA's big report, I think they've solved the problem, so we'll be okay in the future, but a pretty scary event. So it was a, a first time? It's never, never seen, seen this before? before, and it's something that can't happen on Earth. It can only happen in weightlessness, so one of those really hard things to figure out, but we should be able to do it more safely in the future. In the training process, do you learn about stuff like that? I we mean, learn how to take care of each other if something unforeseen happens, and Chris Cassidy, uh, who's one of my crewmates, in fact, helped Luca get back in, but the actual details of that, it was an, it was an unexpected, unknown failure. It, it happens in a new business, but we learned from it, and, uh, and spacewalks will be better in the future. Thanks for this. Great to see you again. Good to see you also. All right. Chris Hatfield.